Is it because our begin play isn't calling our parent begin play? Let's just see if it's getting called. Yeah, all right, so it's not calling the begin play for the data toggler. So this guy needs to call begin play. Trigger event begin play a parent class. I ran on the problem. You can add the parent class to call a child begin play event and use that in the child class. Otherwise, you can just copy it over. Add call to parent. All right, so that's where it is. That's that's really hidden. That's kind of kind of nasty. But all right. I'm not super thrilled about that. But whatever. I can be not thrilled. There we are. And it popped out. Got our corruption ball. That is excellent. Well, I think I'm gonna be on like a kind of a 30 minute warning here. I need to go to the store before all the stores close in an hour. So let's uh, move into closing up shop. Make sure I got all this stuff where I want it to be. So let's make sure this doesn't reactivate. And it does not reactivate. All right, well, let's get the wind toggler because that's what we wanted to do. So since this guy is so small, we can just duplicate it. Thank you, Light Skin Zeno. Light Skin Zeno, nice. I, of course, as soon as I, uh, for following, you come back after shop? I don't know, I'm, I've been going for like six hours. Hello, Bob Lova, or Bob Lova, whichever one you prefer to be going by. I probably wouldn't come back after shopping. I'd, I'd probably just troll Adam in his stream, and then, like, I need to figure out what other game I'm going to play, and then I'll play that, so. I need to do that wind. Wind gustable thing. Periodic wind, wind gust, horizontal wind. Game stream? No, I don't think so. I kind of don't really like the game stream stuff because what would happen is is my mom would watch the game streams and then she'd start asking me questions about shit, about games, which is really not what you want. Like, I'd go over there and be like, oh, hey, mom, how's it going? Yeah, and she'd be like, oh, how was your game of uh, Pharaoh yesterday? I'd be like, um, I don't want to fucking talk about like a, a city builder game with, with my parents. Like it's, it's just, <laughs> it's just like, no, like, eh. yeah, dude, yeah, Kanto, it's, it's a good game. I played, I played through like all of that. Like if you haven't seen any of that, I put it all up on YouTube. There's like a hundred episodes of me playing Pharaoh. And drinking heavily. Trying to explain games to them? I don't know. I couldn't actually finish all the Pharaoh missions. I at at one point I just got bored and never played it again. Like it was on the like the extra missions or whatever, and after like half of them I was just like, I I can't do this anymore. So let's make that wind component 
I'm going to go ahead and copy the other component, which is the uh, ball spawn component. So let's duplicate this guy. This is going to be BP uh, wind toggler component. Or yeah, I'll just call it wind toggler as we did. Well, it's just one of those things where, you know, I don't want them to be interested in that stuff. Like, talking to my parents about like games just no it's it, it would be like like if you were talking about something else with your parents that you know if you're talking about like girls or or boys or whatever with your parents it's just like i don't want to do that like i'm not okay with that so this is under wind so let's move the wind toggler over there All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is, this will be the wind. And we're gonna cast this to a BP wind gust. And we'll set that, so this will be a uh, BP wind gust reference. A wind gust toggler is attached to something that is not a wind gust. Okay, so wind gust is going to need something that we can turn on and off. <laughs> or we are talking about this. Clearly has intimate relationships with games. Hey, hey there, gelatin guy. That's it's not entirely untrue. Oh no, my Steam list. How awful. World of Warships. I don't know. I don't want to play that. Hello, light skins. Yeah, the um, <laughs> thinking like the uh, what was the what was the Alien Resurrection where they have the the evil white alien thing that that's all gross and gets sucked out the airlock through the the pinhole. I remember that. That was pretty cool to see when I was like 10. So we have our wind thing. We need to actually go edit the wind. This goes from wind gust. And what did we change with this guy? Right, we just changed the capsules and the particle system stuff. All right, so basically we're just going to call start wind and return true, and then we'll call stop wind and return true. And that's all we need to do. I think so. I mean, how does everybody feel about Steam clamping down? They're going to start censoring games, right? Like that's just, oh man, going to have to. I'm going to have to buy all those all those games on another site now. It's the worst. Yeah, they're they're clamping down on games because there's like uh, there's too much cheesecake on Steam. There's too many anime girls. And it makes the people at Valve very uncomfortable because they're selling too well, I think. That's the problem. So 
So they got a clamp on it. How strict? What about mount your friends? Yeah, I know. Like that, that game is about. That's the one where you build the tower out of people, right? And it's all physics based, and like Northern Lion plays that all the time with with people or used to. It's just it's just good wholesome fun. Yeah, family friendly. <laughs> Cheesecake, the market for that kind of game. Yeah, I don't... Like, there's some really... There's... Oh, man. There's some weird shit on there. It's, at, at some point, you're like, just... Just go pay for porn. Like, it's not, like just, just get... You don't need to deal with this. But uh, it was... There, there was one thing that was really funny. Um, was when I was at GDC... Uh, they did a micro talks. Uh, I was, was at GDC this year. They did a micro talk. One person did a ten minute talk about how games can, how games get a really bad rap about having adult content. And one of the things is that uh, other mediums have plenty of adult content, and it is very socially acceptable. But any like, like the content of games is very not socially acceptable. So people get all pissed off about you know, uh, Rockstar Games and, you know, Hot Coffee. And if, you know, like, if you remember back in the day when Mass Effect 1 came out and, oh my God, you could, you know, date a blue girl. Like, this is, Fox News was pissed. Like, how could you do that? It's because they think games are for kids. Well, so are other mediums. Like, there are children's books and there are, there are books for adults. You know, like, um, and why is it that People can have in the middle of your Barnes and Noble, you know, 50 different copies of Fifty Shades of Grey sitting right next to Thomas the, Thomas the Tank Engine, right? Same with animation and comics, yeah. Like, how come, how come that's fine, but you can't have, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day sitting there on the store next to FIFA or something, right? Fifty Shades of Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh my god. It probably exists. If it doesn't, it'll have to. <laughs> but it's an interesting concept that isn't really explored. So like Steam cracking down on it, you'd be like, well, you know, that's that's not good. But I'm actually on the other side. I think Steam's doing the right thing because there's so much bullshit that goes on with politics in games that I would imagine it's more of like, Steam getting ahead of the somebody's going to add an additional tax to online games if there's adult content in them on their platform at all because you know you can just imagine some politician especially with the current you know political environment with school shootings and blaming that on you know video games and shit like that that somebody could stand up and say like, well, these, these video game platforms have all these naked anime girls. It's the worst thing ever. And vote for me. I'll add a 5% tax to that shit. So I think Steam's making the right call on some of this. Let's get ahead of, let's get ahead of the potential public relations disaster. Oh yeah. The game blaming shit is like all over the place. Garakan. Like, just go watch uh, the German equivalent of C-SPAN and see if the, the house of whatever the fuck is blaming something on the moral degenerate. I mean, you guys, you guys can't even have, like, Wolfenstein can't even have Nazi, like, swastikas on it. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. It's just, just it's, it's Wolfenstein. How can you have Wolfenstein without fucking Nazis in, in Mecha Hitler? Like, that's just not the same game. <laughs> oh, yeah, like the, the, the Nazi ab aborted fetus in South Park. That was the best. Hello, the one and only Tim. Thank you for cheering, sir. Meeting went well. Now to wait for the quote and see if it's feasible. Yeah, so you're trying to get some uh, some programmers to help you out and all that. So that's it. Sounds pretty sweet, actually. It's, I'm glad your meeting went well. 
You have 33 different schools for South Park. I mean, damn. <laughs> yeah, nudity is no problem. Just killing people. And I think that's the opposite in the States. Like, you know, killing people. Ah, oh, it's fine. That's it's good, wholesome American entertainment. Nudity. Oh, no. Like, God, leave space for Jesus. Put sensor bars on the air. Yeah. The Mr. Slave needs to be censored. All right, so we have our wind toggle component. We have start and stop wind. Um, horizontal wind has that thing. So we had the periodic wind component and then the wind toggler. Um, so I can make a horizontal wind object here. I can then I'm gonna put this over here and I'm going to add a component to this which is going to be the wind toggler BP wind toggler component which is gonna have captured leather ball event Times to activate once. Now it should be active as many times. Um, we want to start this as inactive though. So our wind toggler on the begin play is going to need to call stop wind. So let's see if this does what we want. So we should slot this, this leather ball in there and then the wind should go. So that wind's going, this wind is not going. Let's grab our leather ball. And our wind started. Yay. And let's see if it deactivates and it does let's make sure it deactivates again all right looks like we got the toggler set cool so we've got the ability to toggle stuff based on the balls we collect and all the cool stuff. Let's see. The end. I know Jim has discussed a lot. Imagine making a game where you shoot up a shoot up a school. The public would flip their desk. What are you talking about? That was a Super Columbine Massacre RPG. They made that. Like that game exists. Twitch did ban Yandari. Oh, they banned Yandari Simulator. That was hilarious. My senpai noticed me. Or I'll kill everybody. Or I'll do that anyway. A game made by a AAA company about shooting up a school? Yeah. I mean, it's already, like, Call of Duty got in trouble for trying to make a... Calling an enemy force, like, the Taliban, right? And then, like, they had to change it and call them, like, insurgents or, like, enemy force or some shit. Just because people got all butthurt about it. You could suit a person that was crawling. Yeah, that's like killing kids in Skyrim. I mean, it's just a it's a problem. Well, that's one interesting thing too, because my parents are uh, psychiatrists. So my dad, you know, very much used to describe games as, you know, murder simulators and things like that. So, you know, he was very concerned about us playing games as a kid. And I mean, well, I mean, he might be right. Like, just look how I ended up. Fucking degenerate making games in a basement and talking to imaginary people on the internet. So, 
what else is on my list? So we have the toddlers. <laughs> the toddlers. <I'm laughs> we have the toddlers that you can murder now. We added those to the game. Good job, everyone. Um, we got hideable objects. Ball holders. We got the ball holders and game flags for toggling stuff. The next thing would be... What was that sound? That uh, was the ending. Ball holder. All right, so the next thing really is the actual objects like patrolling morugs, feather nets, fire nets, some of those sorts of things, which I'll have to actually make. So this is a pretty good place to stop. So let me get stuff cleaned up here and make sure that we got all of our stuff working. And I do need to go to the store, so it's... Uh, is this game online? Um, yes, this game is online. This is the, I'll boot up the production copy. <laughs> yeah, so you can, you can log in and it's a multiplayer. Yes, it's a, it's a multiplayer game. Uh, parts of it are. Not everything. We're going to have a story mode that's uh, single player. But um, yeah, if you get the game, uh, there's multiplayer. You can host your own game or you could browse for games. We'll add uh, some basic matchmaking later. Uh, but we have servers in Chicago, London, and Sydney that you can go play against. And uh, it's maximum 3v3 multiplayer right now. You can vote on all the game options and all the stuff you want. So I can add uh, I can add bots. So there's Airdish, the bot coming in to punch me in the face. But yeah, this is on the server in Chicago, so you know you can play the game. Yeah. Get out of here, Airdish. You made really nailed the UI layout. <laughs> the UI lay layout is uh, is okay. Uh, the <laughs> we're, we're switching over to UMG from uh, like this whole thing is a WebKit window, so it's just it's a web page thing right here. Like, and we can actually develop the whole thing just in Chrome or whatever. So we've got like the whole web page thing going on here. And we're getting it over into UMG because the Chromium embedded is just a pile of shit in terms of performance. It works fine on lower resolutions, but it it's just a it's it's awful on high res. So we're having to switch over to UMG for stuff. Which is fine. I just uh had to go fix bugs in UMG with scaling and some other stuff that um, was a real pain in the ass. Your emote prefix is Ambient? Well, that's my username, Ambient Energy, which I've had as a handle for absolutely ever. Unlike other people back in 1995, I picked a reasonable username. Not like Goku XXX Weed or something, or my personal favorite, one of my, one of the guys got a Mr. DeBomb 9000. It's a, it's a pretty awesome handle. But, uh, so I kept that. Reset. Let's beat this thing. And by this thing, I mean this game, obviously, not some other thing that is not okay to talk about on Twitch. Awesome. Your first multiplayer game nickname was Google? Well, I think you're pretty much screwed for getting that one then. So yeah, the game's all online and uh, all that cool stuff. Oh man, I can toggle the UI and see that there's actually me celebrating in the background. 
All right, so let's uh, revert all of our unchanged files, make sure we got all that working. Uh, let's see, that all looks like the files I worked on. And the events, mission types, VSDX. Let's make sure I got the Visio doc saved. Visio crashes on trying to save to a read-only file. Yeah. All right, so let's get this in there. So what do we do? We got a uh, hideable objects, uh, game data, togglers, ball holders, wind gusts. Actually, let's save it. Um, there's one other toggler that I need to make. I need to make the toggler for the I don't have enough time, or do I, if I can do this in like five minutes, I need to make a platform toggler. Let's see if I can do this. You literally got your name from Google. I think you just went on and multiplayer game handle no All right. <laughs> good I'm glad we're on the same page <laughs> wait you're just like going on to Halo 1 it's like you were killed by www.google.com. God damn, that, that Google, he's going to be big someday. All right, so if we go to platforms, I'm going to want a component here. So let's see, it's going to be blueprint class based on toggler, game data toggler. So call it BP platform toggler. All right, so platform toggler is a component which is going to grab, I actually should just go ahead and delete that. And let's go ahead and duplicate. It's okay, it's, there's nothing there. Let's go duplicate the wind toggler. How often do I stream my stuff in the week? I try to stream as often as I can. So, so usually every day, my schedule is completely bullshit and just basically when I'm awake and able to work. So I, I'm sorry, my schedule is all over the place, but it is. All right, so platforms is there, so let's copy this guy. You had put your phone number in it? Jesus Christ. It's like putting your address as your handle. You're just like, it's your address. Like, and your, and your full name and your social security number. Let's be like, that was a really naive kid. All right, so platform toggler. All right, so we're gonna call this guy platform. This is gonna be a platform base reference. Time platform base. We'll set platform to that. Not gonna call stop wind. Platform toggler is not attached to a platform. All right, so start wind and stop wind are not things. Time platform base, make visible, make invisible. All 
right, so that's what we need to do. Make visible, make invisible. And make visible. All right. So we want to call Cool, okay. So, well, let's check it out if we have to, whatever. And let's go to that level, let's add a platform and just test it out real quick. <laughs> you realized you were dumb. Well, thank you, Hurry Pound, for following. I am trying to get this done very quickly. All right, so I need a platform so let's grab a BP time platform one by five. So this guy is a, and we're going to add a platform toggler component to it. We're going to snag the captured leather ball event for it. So platform toggler one times to activate zero threshold is one keep active, whatever. We don't need that. So the BP time platform needs to be, it's not timed, trigger volume activates, use trigger volume is false. Okay, so I think that's good. Let me just save that and test it. So this guy should be off to begin with, and then when we give the leather ball and shove it in there, it should work. That's why kids got their own IQ test form. Well, I got an IQ of uh, 150. All right, so this guy did not get set properly to the invisible thing. So let's see, make invisible was called, which visible was false or is false. So, but obviously it's Where is begin play? Initialization. So if it is timed, make invisible. If trigger volume is false, make it make visible. So it's probably making itself visible after I'm setting it to invisible. I believe so let's add a variable here which is initially visible set it to true branch it off here kind of a piece of trash, but whatever. Trash is my specialty. All right, it is not there. All right, it worked. We've got our platform.
with our stupid, awful particles. All right, let's kick this out of here. Platform gone. Awesome. So we got our platform toggler in there in a record amount of time. So let's save it. You see, personally, I prefer the IQ tests that are all just trivia, where it's just like, uh, who is the... Just to, just to keep it as complete bullshit. All right, hide a blood. So, you know, you, you set it up, you know, so that the only people who would know the answers would be like, where's Mount Rushmore is like, put that on an IQ test, you know, just, just to be a dick about it. That's the, the best kind of IQ test. You hate trivia board games? Yeah. Well, that's how it goes. Jackbox games usually win. Awesome. Well, I'm getting this all uh, submitted and all that fun stuff, and I am going to need to get out of here. So, let's see. I guess Adam is, is streaming, so everybody should go to Adam's channel because... He's playing the game. Perforce hype, I know, yeah. So everybody should uh, go over to Adam's channel, which is uh, Cluade, and say hello to him. Make sure if you are subscribed to use your ambient upsets because it actually triggers emotional reactions in the man to be uh, upset about absolutely everything. So thanks for sticking around, and uh, I hope everybody has a good rest of their day. And make sure to uh, make his day worse. That's um, the goal. <laughs>